Hi, um, I'm Slava Deisling from Behind the Stone and uh, we, today we're going to make a totally unprofessional unboxing video because we're poor indies and don't have the uh, equipment for it. So there's that. And let's start with the unboxing video. We got our samples from Play Asia and of course thanks to East Asia Soft, our publisher, for uh, helping creating these lo this lovely limited edition of the game and of course to a, a big shout out and thank you to play Asia for distributing this limited edition they are uh, limited to 2000 uh, in the world and there are still some left at play Asia so if you want one get one we put the links in the description of the video yeah and if you're not for the uh, you know, if you're not a collector's guy uh, or girl of course so you can buy the so each slot the standard digital edition at the PlayStation PlayStation Store in North America Europe and Asia so let's unbox it so it's wrapped let's put that out of the way So wrapped here. Ah, I love to unwrap things. So this is the box of the limited edition of our game, Sir It's a Lot. And maybe I should say a sentence about the game. It's a 2D adventure platformer for uh, for the PlayStation Vita. It's about this chubby guy, Sir Eats a Lot, who has to save the kingdom, uh, Glattington, um, because the evil witch Hysterica poisoned the, the kingdom or poisoned the so called isotonic waters with sour lemonade. And he has to stop it. So, yeah, it's a, it's a slow paced adventure. So, if you're in for some classic slow paced adventure stuff, uh, mixed with platforming and puzzle-solving elements, this is the right game for you. So, this is the box of the game. We have our beautiful logo um, in a very nice glossy cut-out material. You can touch it, it's, it's kind of stamped out. It's really, really nice. And we have, our, of course, our logos from us and our publisher. And on the, the back side, we have basically uh, the, the description of the game and some of the features and three selected screenshots of the game. Yeah, this uh, artwork was of course designed and made by our art director Monica. And yeah, that's for the box. I'd say let's open it up and see what's in the limited edition. Let's pull it all right out. So we have, of course, the game and the PlayStation Vita box. We have the beautiful arranged art book of the game, the art of Sir Eats a Lot. We have, of course, our great soundtrack by Michael, uh, Michael Furman and Steven Settinger. And of course, the numbered certificate of the game. So let's start from left to right, right to left, from my right to my left. I think it's otherwise the other way around for you guys. And let's start with a, a certificate number. So we have this very nice cardboard material certificate with again the, the uh, key artwork also for the standard uh, for the PS Vita box. Um, and on the back side, we have the other key artwork from the limited edition box, of course, with a big thanks for your support. And on the front, we have again our logo in the glossy uh, cutout material, nice for touchy touchy, and of course, the certificate number. But, um, on our limited editions, we have 50 samples, and there's, of course, just written sample. When you order the game on PlayAsia, 
the, the limited edition, when you order the limited edition on uh, Play Azure, you will have a very specified number. Right. So next, the, uh, the, the, the original soundtrack. So the original soundtrack was composed by Michael Furman and Steven Settinger. You can look them up there. They have their very own website. Uh, I put a link in the description um, or SoundCloud. They make very, very great music and we were so happy um, that they composed the whole soundtrack of the game for us. And this is it. So if you have your CD, player or uh, or still a CD drive in your PC, you can check it out. We have 25 tracks on the disc and that's basically the disc. So just with the logo of Sir It's a lot, clean, nice and of course referring to the com both of the composers. The artwork was done by one of our other artists, Vivian, so a big shout out and uh, Many hugs and kisses to Vivian for, for this really, really nice artwork of Sir Itzelot sitting on a piano and uh, playing the, the music of the game um, with, together with the so-called Sprouties. These are little creatures you will uh, encounter in the game. And of course, when we put out the CD, there's the artwork again. Now, on the back, we have, in a very classical manner, uh, the list, uh, the the the, fo uh, the font of the uh, soundtrack and of the game name, in a very classical manner, and the, the uh, uh, sound names, of course, too. Um, we have 25 of them. Um, there are the names, and we have the very same thing inside of the booklet in this very own book. And if you look closely, this whole thing is basically designed as a book you can open up. Yeah. That's a nice touch to the soundtrack. Let's pull that back in. So next up is the art book. And we really, really, really love how the artwork turned out. Uh, we kind of feared that it, it would be maybe a bit cheap uh, from the material, but it's a really great material. It's, of course, unfortunately, not a hardcover art book, but that would be probably too much to assemble and too expensive. But what we got here is really, really great. It has also this not too thin, not too thick cardboard material and really, really feels good in the hand. So um, when we open it up, we are greeted with a Sir Eats a lot, uh, scribble, eating a donut. And then it already starts. We have our uh, content page where we can find directly our forward here which describes what, uh, how we started the game and what we thought about it uh, when we assembled the, the whole universe of Sir Ezelot and the world and how we approached the art style and why we decided for a uh, frame by frame animation style for all of uh, our animations. And yeah, check it out when you get your limited edition and let's jump in. So we uh, describe the story, we describe our character, who Sir Ezelot really is. And the thing about this art book was that we wanted to emphasize uh, the main thing of our game or of our art style, the whole high quality 2D art and the frame by frame animations. So the whole art book, uh, uh, when we show characters and uh, describe them, we show also the frames we had to draw. Well, I didn't draw them, but our artist had to. Uh, 
and want to emphasize how much love, detail and work we put there and wanted uh, to show it in the very art book too. So we hope you, you like them, you like the drawings, you like uh, uh, the frames, or of course, in the, not only in the game, but also in the art book and appreciate the workload we put in, into this game. So <clears throat> this, this reads a lot. <coughs> Sorry. So it's a lot started uh, really bad. <laughs> you looked like, I don't know, some guy with a helmet. And at some point we settled with kind of this design and then we went and, went, and then we iterated and iterated and iterated over the, his design until uh, we came to a point where we, where we said, yes, that's Sir Itzler. This is how he looks like. Then of course we have our t antagonist, Hysterica, the evil witch. Who is, if you see her and if you encounter her in the game, is very inspired by all these uh, classical Disney cartoon villains like Cruella de Vil or Yzma and a whole other bunch. Yeah, she smokes. And that means she has to be bad, right? So there's that. We went through all uh, also to lots of iterations about her design, but it was pretty distinct what we want to achieve with her and how she should look and feel like. So of course there are a bunch of other characters, enemies, how they look like, how we uh, approach them in their design, like the Red Clan, the, the evil minions of Hysterica, and of course all the NPCs in the game. Lots of lots of work went into these frames. So we hope you guys, you folks can appreciate Of course, we have again the key artwork, which is also used in the limited edition box. And of course, um, the whole uh, level design is also mentioned in the game, how we approached the levels. If you didn't catch on, the game is very centric about uh, food. We didn't want to uh, just go the, the Candyland uh, route, but just uh, some th combine things, uh, ordinary things with food, like we have this uh, so-called broccoli grove, it's a level, and there are lots of trees looking like broccoli. And on the other hand, we have just normal pathways where you walk on. So there's a, there are lots of things where kind of a food twist uh, is there. Like these are the textures we design for our pathways. Like we don't know is this is this snow or is this cream? I don't know. Maybe you do, and it's you. To, uh, it's up for you to decide it. So here we have lots of the food items in the game because in the game you are bound to consume food for your health and your stamina. Like sweets are for stamina and hearty food are for hearts. Um, like the lasagna plant or the red plant or the meatball plant, the, the, the ice uh, flowers here or the jelly bear thistle and stuff like that. Oh, also a, a bagel bush. And here are some of the environment objects like the broccoli tree, a uh, simple tree, uh, chocolate lentils, a desk, and of course a very over-exaggerated statue of Hysterica, how she sees herself. <laughs> we had to put that in there. And of course the credits of our team. Uh, again, the key artwork of the game. And if you read the book, you uh, you get a trophy. And the probably coolest thing about this art book is that we have a flip art book. Look at this very corner and when you do this you see Sir Eats a Lot Bob. 
Isn't that cool? So I think this feature of the art book is probably the best reason to buy this limited edition. So <laughs> there's that. Now, last but not least. All right, guys. Um, we had to cut. We have to. We had to stop the video because there were storage problems on the phone. Sorry for that. That's indie development for you. But last but not least, let's check out the actual game. I already had to unwrap it. I'm sorry. And yeah, let's check it out. So we have two things in here: the so it's what cartridge, of course, with just the logo. Let's put it out. Really nice. And this little extra here. So this is not a manual. Um, what is this? This is the sticker album of the game. We thought we put something personal of the game inside here because it would be more fitting. Why is that? In the game you are actually can collect stickers of the creatures or NPCs you encounter. And we thought it would be a great thing if we could make a sticker album. So we talked to our publisher, East Asia Soft, if that would be cool to do. And they convinced Sony to do it. So here it is, the sticker album of the game. How cool is that? Look at this. These are the real artworks in the game you will get the sticker artworks uh, you will get when you collect a sticker and these are all of them on every page beautiful and the material is of the sticker album is also really really great it's i think it's also cardboard too so there's that and if you're a sticker person like i am can pull them out. You have to use a little bit of force. You can put this on all the surface you want. Uh, on your fridge, on your laptop, notebook, of course on your PlayStation Vita. And we hope you will enjoy that. And that's basically for the unboxing. We have the limited edition box. We have the game of course with the sticker art book. We have the Art of Sir Isolate art book. We have the awesome soundtrack. We have the certificate number. You, your one will have a specified number on this. And I'd say let's wrap it up by putting this very cartridge into my Vita. Let's get over here. A little bit of light. The game is installing right now. So this is it. And I just want to say that thank you guys for your support. Um, the general feedback was very, very positive. There were some, uh, we had some really nice, great feedback and we will still work on the game. And we hope you enjoy it. It's a very unique adventure. It's very dedicated to the PlayStation Vita. It was built from the ground up for the PlayStation Vita. And we hope you will support us uh, so we can hopefully make another PS Vita game or at least as a potential uh, future platform for uh, multi-platform games, uh, which we will do. And if you have the digital version, you are of course, as mentioned before, um, there are still some left at Play Asia. It would be really, really great if you could support us. We put the links in the description of the digital version of the limited edition. And we hope we see you at Vita Island and playing this game. And so to wrap it up, Vita means life.